So if you have some of your own music, um, put on a playlist, something that's motivational for you. Welcome to Motivational Monday. My name is Margaret. I'm an instructor here at Parkinson's at the Buchanan Centre in Edmonton. And uh, the classes that I teach are specific to people who are, can easily get down uh, on the floor and get back up again, be able to stand with their balance, with their hands, maybe um, not holding on to things. So if you need to modify, I uh, will show you some modifications, but from some of the comments that I had from my last session, I need to maybe slow down a little bit between the options so you know this is an option um, to the move that we have. I hope that you'll work hard today and uh, and have fun. So, tell me when I'm ready, Brandy. You? We've got about two minutes. Okay. It's about 9.58. Okay. Uh, what else can I tell you? I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use um, something to step over today. So, uh, you might not have a little mini hurdler. You might have maybe a rolled up towel or maybe a yoga mat or something that you can step over. So, you want to be able to step over it. I'm also going to use a chair today, so sometimes I might be standing behind this chair uh, to help with my balance. So if you have issues with your balance, you want to be able to stand maybe behind a chair or maybe at a countertop or something like that that will help you with your balance. Also you want to be able to have a little bit of uh, a room to move, so maybe we're going to do one or two steps to the side, one or two steps to the side, maybe three steps to the side. So make sure that you have room to move this way and forward and a little bit back, okay? Um, I also brought with me today a milk jug. Breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> a chunk of ice. So last week I kind of talked a little bit about if you don't have any weights at home, maybe you could use um, a milk jug. So you can put in as much water as what you want. This one is a little bit frozen because the kids use it when they, when they go to work. They fill it up with water and a little bit of ice on the bottom of it. Anyway, so this one weighs about two pounds. So the ice is about up to here or the water is about up to here. And it weighs about two pounds. And you can hold on to the handle as you do triceps or maybe a bicep curl. You can hold it with both hands and maybe press up overhead, okay? So those are options for you. Maybe not in this workout, but maybe in, maybe in another workout that you choose to do. Okay, tell me when. Uh, also, you need your water. <clears throat> so, get a little drink of water before we start. We've got about 10 people this morning so far. Okay, well, welcome everybody. 12. Please let me know if you have some comments, something that is helpful to me is when you feed back to Brandy and let her know, hey, it was a little too quick, a little too slow. <clears throat> perhaps, um, I don't know, perhaps my moves weren't clear enough as to what we were going to do or the options weren't clear enough. So really any kind of feedback that you can give back to Brandy would just really be appreciated. Kat okay. has joined us this morning. Who is? Kat. Okay. Well, welcome. Nice to have everyone. Okay, so we're just going to start with a little bit of a march today. So find a little spot where you can march on the spot. Maybe you're going to stand behind your chair and march. So I want you to start with just this arm swing. You notice that my opposite hand is going to my opposite knee. And I'm lifting, lifting, lifting. So really important that we get our knees up and our feet off the floor. This isn't really a march. This is way too close to the floor for my march. You really need to lift your knee and lift. Good. Now we're just going to add a little bit of balance onto this. So it's going to be one, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and eight. One, two, three, and seven. One, two, three, and six. One, two, three, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Staggering my feet, one foot in front of the other. I want to transfer my weight forward and back. So I want to lift my heel in the back, and just as if I wanted to take off running or walking, I'm going to try to push into the knuckle of my big toe in the back and step back. 
same foot. So step forward and come back. Step forward and come back. Two more of these. Step forward and come back. Last time. Good. Now this time, just keep your foot there and rock up on your toe and back on your heel. Up on my toe and heel. Up and heel. Good. Keep rocking back and forth. Back and forth. Today we're going to do a little cardio session and then I'm going to get down on the floor. Good. Last one here. Good. Now I'm going to transfer my weight to my back heel, bend my back knee, lift my toe in the front, check out that chair if it's there for the balance, and push my hips back. Okay? So toe, transfer my weight back. Toe and back. Good. So lift my heel, lift my toe. Lift my heel, lift my toe. Should be feeling this in that lead leg there with the hamstring in the back. Last one. Good. And march right there. Good. Little march. Transferring to the other side. Other foot forward. Good. Just going to start with lifting my heel in the back and bringing my hand forward as if I was going to take off running. And come back. Lift and come back. Good. So heel up, heel down. Heel up, heel down. Four and down. And three. Good. And two. And one. Good. Transfer my weight. Lift my toe in the front. Push my hips back. Transfer my weight forward. Transfer my weight back. Forward. And back. Good. Lengthening in that lead leg, in the hamstring. Two to go. Good. Last one. Good. Little march right there. Good. Little march. Janet march. says hi and she misses you. Janet, I miss you so much. Nice to have you here. Okay, gang. We're going to warm up just a little bit <clears throat> with our neck. So, knees are soft. My feet are wide because I want a good solid base. When my feet are together, I'm a little bit wobbly. So, feet just outside of my shoulders. Knees are soft. And I'm going to warm up my neck. So, chin's going to do some work here. I'm going to draw up my chin to my collarbone, draw a smiley face, lift my chin, and look over my shoulder to see who's behind me. Do it again. Lift and look behind me. Good. Lift and look behind me. One more time. Good. Now I want you to draw your belly button in and down. Okay? Belly button in and down. Engaging your core. Belly button in and down. Hold it there. Do this again. Drop my chin and lift. Drop my chin and lift. Two to go. Lift. Good, good. Look behind you and march. Good. Okay, gang. Starting off again. Transferring my weight. One foot forward and one foot back. I'm going to push open a really heavy door. So elbow up high so that it's kind of in line with my palm of my hand. And I'm going to push that door open and come back. Push a heavy door. Push. Good. Four. And three. Oh, that's really heavy. Two. And one. And rest from the other side. Ready? Toes face forward. Palm up with my shoulder and push that heavy door open. Push. Good. Push. Four. And three. And two. And one. And rest. Going to add on to this. Big step forward. Going to push that heavy door open. And then I'm going to slide a patio door open. Draw my palm to my chest and do it again. Heavy door, side, and in. So push that maybe accordion door, or maybe it's a big glass patio door that you're sliding open. Good. One more time. Push, open, and in, and rest. Let's try the other side. Ready? Other foot forward. My back leg is, uh, my leg is slightly bent, but my front knee is definitely bent. Ready? Push it open. Slide open the patio door. Bring my palm to my chest. Push. Slide and across. Push. Slide. Good. Push. Good. Are your fingers open? 
Maybe a little bit. <laughs> jazz hands. Two. Yeah, jazz hands is right. Last one. Good. And march. Good. So, warming everything up here. Margaret, we've got Colm from Ireland joining Hello, us this morning. Colm. Welcome. Is it raining here? Because it's a little bit rainy here. But we love it because it's making everything green. Okay, we're going to do a little directional stepping. So one, two, three, four, go in reverse. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Now go back. Now you notice you have to lift your whole foot to go back and forward. Opposite hand swinging. Good. Go back. Two, three, four. Go forward. One, two, three. Stop. Go back. Two, three, four. Last time. Forward. Two, three. Stop. Go back. Two, three. And rest right there. Good. A little rest. What else have I got here? Oh, yes. Okay. So let's try that again, but we're going to go sideways. So we're going to step to the side. You ready, Brandy? Stay <laughs> with me. Here we go. Step, two, three, stop, go back. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, change the direction that I'm going by stopping what I'm doing and going the other way. Good. Three, two, one, stop. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop again. One, two, three, and stop. Good. Okay, gang. Move yourself over to a chair. Just one more, one more, and then we'll get a little drink of water. So have your hand ready at that countertop or maybe your chair in case you need a little bit of help. Watch what my leg's going to do. It's going to kick a soccer ball. So I want to turn my toe at about a 45 and kick that soccer ball. Kick. I want to try to do it with no help with my hand. So challenging my balance, remember, focusing on a spot. Core is engaged, belly button in and down. Right, hands are up. And kick. Kick. Let's do eight. And seven. And six. Here's my option. Five. Four. Three, two, let's try the other side. Here we go. So other side. Ready? Kicking the soccer ball. Kick. Good. Toe is pointing on a 45. Keep going. Kick. Hands out if you can. Knee is soft, supporting my weight on that single leg. Three, two, one. Okay, gang. <clears throat> We're going to repeat that. So you can choose to keep your hand hovering over that chair, or you can add on. So the first one was kicking with this foot, this way. Watch my add-on. I'm going to swing a baseball bat the opposite way. Swing, swing, swing. Yeah, here we go. Four, and three, and two, and one. No march. Let's try the other side. How'd you like that one? <laughs> Here we go. So kicking, and I'm going to swing opposite. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five. Wow, this is so challenging my balance. Keep going. Three, two, and one. A little march, a little drink of water. A little drink of water. Fern from Camrose joined us. Hello, Fern. And Vaughn says good morning to us. Oh, good morning, Vaughn. Almost. Okay. A little trunk rotation here, and then we're going to start in our cardio, okay? So, holding my hand to my elbow, we did this one before. My knees are nice and soft, and my feet are outside of my hips. My eyes are going to follow my lead elbow. So my lead elbow is going to turn as far as I can go back. Squeezing my upper back, my shoulder blade comes towards my back. Ready? Eight. Come center. Seven. Come center. Six. Five. Four. Three. 
two, one, and rest. Ah, let's try the other side. Hands are on my elbows. Elbows are up as high as my shoulders. Ready? Eyes follow my lead elbows. All the way back and front to the back. Good. So we have that big trunk rotation here. Good. Five. And four. And three. And two. Last one, last one. Oh, a little rest right there. Not finished with these trunk rotations. <laughs> Palms are down. This time when I rotate, eyes are going to follow my lead hand. Or actually, I'm going to start with my left hand. You start with your right. And I'm going to lift my heel on the opposite side so that I can pivot my hips around. Okay? So, eyes follow my lead hand. Are you ready? Lift your heel and pivot. Go. Eight. Come home. Seven. Come home. Six. Come home. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. And rest right there. Little rest. Good. Good, good. Okay. Other side. Lift my heel so I can do that trunk rotation. Can you see my heel? Maybe I should move there. You can see my heel. Sorry. There. That's probably better. So you can see my heel. A little bit. Yeah. So lift and pivot, okay? Eyes follow many can. Here we go. Ready? Pivot. Come home. Lift and pivot. Good. Pivot. Good. Five. And home. And four. And home. And three. And two. Last one, last one. And rest right there. Okay, gang. Big power move. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do a big power reach. So we're going to reach up. My hand's going to flick open as wide as I can, and I'm going to follow my lead hand. And the other hand's going to push away. So a little less, both feet stay firm. A little more, lift my heel in the back. But no matter what you do, this has to be big, okay? As big as you can. If you have a target on the wall, let's see if you can maybe hit it. Are you ready? We're going to do 10 this side. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Open your fingers wide. Wide. Maybe you can give them a little flick. Flick. Push that other arm back and behind you. Three, two, last one, and rest. Oh yeah, feels good to be able to reach way up there into that cupboard. Let's try the other side. So again, feet are nice and wide, they're outside my hips. Lifting that heel as I reach, pushing the other hand back behind me. I follow my lead hand. Ready, up you go, and come to center. Up, and set. Up. Seven. Here we go. I, I, I forgot to count. I forgot to count. <laughs> I have to do a hundred of these. Where's my counter when I need them? Here we go. Four. And three. And two. I follow my hand in one. And rest. Ah, uh, Colum says it is a sunny day in Cork, Ireland this oh, morning. Oh, wonderful. Well, we hope you enjoy the sunshine there. Okay. Little squat up into a Y, okay? So a little rest here, a little squat, and up to a Y. So we're gonna squat as low as I can. Maybe that's as far as I can go, and my arms are gonna come up to a Y. Again, feet are outside of my hips. So as low as I can go, and up wide. Are you ready? We want 10. Here's 10, wide, nine. Don't look at the floor, it's not gonna go anywhere. You just keep looking up. You got it. Keep your eyes up. Don't let your head go up and down. You go four and up. And did I say four yet? You did say four. Did I say two yet? Nope. Did I say one? <laughs> and rest. Oh my. Good, good. Okay. This time I'm going to squat. And when I come up, I'm going to go into a balance. So I'm going to squat low, come up, and balance. My toe is still touching. Yeah, I think that I can do it without my toe down. Oh, really? Stay the same side eight times. Here we go. So squat and lift. Squat and lift. Maybe this is as 
goes by squat goes. That's okay. Wherever it works for you, works for me. Here's with my toe down. Two, stay with me. One, are you out of breath, Janet? Rest. <laughs> ah, other side. Here we go. We also have Shirley and Fede with us. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to everybody. Okay, squat, go wide, and maybe you can do a little balance by getting up on your toe, lifting your heel, or maybe you can lift your whole foot off. Are you ready? Here we go. So squat, come up on my toe, or lift my foot off the floor. Here we go, eight, and wide, and seven, and six, and five. Oh my, hmm. oh my. Here we go, three. three. Say, oh yeah, Brandy City, Two. she's got those arms up. <laughs> and one. Hey. Ah, yay. Right. Little drink of water. Woo. Little drink of water. Good job, gang. Still not finished our cardio. We're going to do a little power twist. So, thumbs are up, hands are, fingers are wide. Okay? As we twist, we lift our heel and turn towards that hand that's staying perfectly still, and then open wide and squeeze my shoulder blades. I'm gonna stay on the same side 10 times. Then I'm gonna go to the other side 10 times. And then I'm gonna alternate this side, that side, this side, ha, huh? huh? Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Here's 10, open, nine, squeeze my shoulder blades, eight, Brandy, are you coming with us? I hope Seven. so. Woo! Six. You got it. Five. Stay with us. Four. Yep. Three. Yeah. Two. two. Last one, last one. One. Oh, yeah. Roll those shoulders. Roll those shoulders. Good, good. Other side. Good, good. Nice wide stance. My knees are soft. Arms are, wi arms are wide and fingers are wide. Ready? Go. Ten. Open. Nine. Nine eight, eight. Seven. seven woo! Six. six. You got it. Five. Four. four three. Two. two one. one. Yeah. Janet there. says, yes, she's out of breath, but it feels woo! great. Oh, yay. Yay. Okay, Janet, we're counting down backwards from December. Oh, Brandy, boy. keep me on track. Oh, You're gone, boy. Brandy, you. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go December. November, okay? Uh, what is it? October, September? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I, got, I got you the first four. Ready? Three, two, go. December. December. November. November. What? October. October. Yep. September. September. What? August. August. You got it. Stay with July. Me. June. Yep. May. You got it. April. Yeah. March. Yeah. Uh, February. <laughs> January. Yeah. Yay. Little drink of water. Okay. Little drink of water. And we're going to go into our big power step. So I'll wait for you to get a little drink of water. Everybody get a little drink of water. Good. I'm going to just start my timer here. So we're going to step forward and come back. So my hand is closed and then I'm going to flick it open. Okay? So we're going to start forward and then we're going to go forward. Then I'm going to go back. Then I'm gonna go back. Are you ready? Stay forward. Here we go. For 10. Let's do it. 10. Nine. nine big step forward on eight, that 45. Flick seven, your fingers open. Six. six. How many? Five. You got it. Four. four three. Two. two oh one. One. Yeah. I'm gonna go the other side, but you're gonna tell me a whole bunch of flowers. So I want 10 different kinds of flowers. Colin, we expect to hear from you in Ireland. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, in two, let's do it. What? One, two. Oh, he's counting the wrong way. Flowers, come three. on, girl. What am I doing? There's a daffodil. Oh, uh, tulips. Tulips. And? Roses. And? Lilacs. And? Uh, sunflowers. And? Roses again. <laughs> <laughs> Peonies. Say with it. Sweet two. peas. Oh, Marigolds. Yay, good job. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my God. I was like, oh. Yeah, stepping backwards. Take a look. 
I'm going to step back as if I wanted to go that direction. My toe's going to turn that way. So I want to turn my toe back and I want to open my chest, okay? Again, my eyes are going to follow my lead hand as I come back. We want 10. Ready? 10. Be big. 9. And 8. And 7. And 6. And 5. And 4. And 3. And 2. And 1. Oh my, shoulders are getting a workout this morning. Other side. Other side. And we're going to do special holidays, Brandy. 10 <laughs> holidays. Just say 10. We only need 10. Okay. Uh, we can also include, um, what was it just here not too long ago? I can't remember. I'll figure something. Something, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? We want 10, 10 okay. holidays, guys. 10 holidays. Stepping back, opening my hand, okay? The toe points the direction I'm going. Eyes follow my lead hand. Here we go. There's 10. What is it? A holiday. St. Patrick's Day. At? Easter. Good. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Canada Day. Woo! Stay with it. Uh, Christmas. Christmas. New Year's Eve. Woo! Three to go, three to Flag go. Flag Day. Three to go, two to go, two to go. Civic Holidays. Good. At? Remembrance Day. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Wow. Wow. Keep us going. Keep us moving. Nice job. No drink of water because we're going to put them together. We're going to go front. Sorry. Front, back, front, back. Are you ready? Just five per side. So a total of ten. Here we go. So step, back, forward, back. Other side, forward, back. Good. Other side, forward, back. Open your hands. Open. Make it big. Big. Keep going. Last set. You know it. Step and done. Little drink of water. Little drink. Woo! Woo! Okay. Doing great, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's fantastic. Have you got something to step over? Get a little something to step over. Get a little drink of water. Little drink of water. Good. Little drink of water. So we're going to go sideways. And as I go sideways, this is going to remind me how high I have to step my foot. Together. Good. Together. Go back. Step. Together. Step. Here's my object. Over. And three. Are you ready? Let's try it. Three this side. Three. Two. Go. Three. Two. One. Go back. Three. Two. One. Get ready. Three, two, one, go back. Three, two, one, go back. Or right, same side. Three, two, one, go back. Three, two, one, go over. Three, two, one, go back. Three, two, one. Last time. Three, two, one. Drink your water. Drink your water, gang. Yay. Yay is right. Move this out of my way. Good. Okay, we're on a little rest here. So while we're resting, I'm going to show you a butt kicker. So kick my butt, rock forward, but kind of step a little bit in one direction. Kick my butt. Kick my butt. Kick my butt. So just like I'm going on a clock. Good. And then come back. Kick my butt. Kick my butt. Good. And come back. Okay, so we want maybe six, I think it is. One, two, three, maybe four. We'll see. We'll count them as we go. Are you ready? So, lead leg. Oh, uh, lead, lead leg. Let's go. Lead leg is the same direction I'm going. So, this is the same direction I'm going. So, if I'm going this way, this is my lead leg, okay? Are you ready? Let's start forward, like a 12 block. So 12, kick my butt. Two, three, four, go to six o'clock, six. Come back, four, go to three, three. Go to two or one, go 
12. Rest. Do it again. Ready? Start at 12 o'clock. So 12. Transfer your heart rate forward and back. Remember, you can always use your walking poles if you want a little bit of stability. If you're using that chair, a little bit tougher, but can still do this move. Rest. Did I come back to 12? Maybe I didn't. Other side. Here we go. Ready? 12. Kick. 2. Kick. Oh, now I'm doing the opposite. What am I talking about? This is like 8 o'clock or something. 6. But maybe 3 o'clock for you because you're looking the opposite direction. I don't know. Count your numbers. Whatever it is. Brandy, I'm counting on you. 12. <laughs> my, my clock is digital. Oh, she's got a digital <laughs> Just clock. Just teasing. What's with that? Oh, it's all fun and games. Good. Oh, you guys are doing great. Stay with it. Lift. All we want here, gang, is a transfer of weight, lifting forward, lifting back, and resting. Good. Remedios has joined us. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Okay. So, we started off with that little squat, and then we went wide. This time, I'm going to turn my toes out. When I turn my toes out, I still want my knees to follow my toes. So try not to let them fall in, and you'll be able to tell because you'll transfer your weight on the inside of your shoe, okay? So on the outside of your shoe, try to keep my pelvis level as I come down. So I'm trying not to, don't, try not to arch your back as you come down, okay? So belly button in and down, core engaged. Toes are out on the 45. Ready? Just come down and up. Come down, go up. Now, come down and then push your hands up to a 45. Try to get my elbows to my thighs. Elbow to thigh. Six and out and five and out and four and out and three. Oh my. And two and one and rest. Just 10. Just rest for 10 because I'm going to come down and lift my heel. So I'm going to come down and lift, okay? Are you ready? Still working that inner thigh. Those hip flexors. Ready? So come down with my heel up, hands up for balance. Come up tall. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Nine. What number? What number? 6. Oh, yeah. 5. five. Stay with it. Four. Four. Three. Three. We're going to hold Two. the last one down. One. One. Hold down. Maybe sink a little deeper. Oh my. Just lift right and left. Here we go. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Go five and four and three and two and rest right there. Yeah, a little drink of water, gang. Bree from sure. Lethbridge is here too. Oh, welcome. Yay. Okay, gang. This is the part we've been waiting for, okay? Gonna bring my heart rate down. Gonna go for a little walk, drink my water, and I'm gonna get my chair. So I wanna do some work on our chair today. Larry is liking everything that's going on too. Yay, Larry, miss you. Okay, let me just tuck this under here actually. Okay. So now I'm on my chair. My cardio portion's over. You want to try to bring that heart rate down a little bit here. Uh, and then get down on our chair. Okay. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is the boys' favorite. They love this. Ha, ha, ha. They hate it, but that's okay. All the way back on my chair. So when my back is against the chair, my shoulder blades are together, my feet don't quite touch the floor. Yours maybe do. You've got a little bit longer legs. But what I want you to do is lift your hip and bring your butt forward. Lift your hip and bring your butt forward. So lift and lift. So you're doing these bum walks to the front of your chair, okay? Now do it to the back of your chair. Lift and go all the way back. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Come forward. Lift and lift. Lift your hip. So you have to drive your knee up to lift your hip and make it come forward and go back. Lift and lift and lift and lift. We're going to do two more coming forward and going back. Are you ready? Up 
to come forward. Now, wherever this works for you, but just make sure you're at the front of your chair and then go back. You can turn sideways so you can see. Go back, lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and come forward. Last time. Lift my hip, walking forward. Good, keep going. Four, three, two, go back. Good, good. And rest, rest right there. Feels so good. Okay, coming forward on my chair so that my feet are flat and my back is flat. I want to have my my uh, heels as wide as the legs on my chair, or maybe even a little bit wider. Okay, I want to come forward to touch like we did in standing, and then I want to flip my fingers open. Okay, here we go. So ten and flip, and nine and flip. Try to keep my back flat. Good, good. Try not to hunker down into being a turtle down here. Okay, keep my shoulders back and down. Good, and flip. And what number are we on, Janet? Janet, are you with me? What number do we have? Here we go, two and one. Yay, okay. I'm just gonna power reach. So a little rest, and I'm gonna reach for a remote that's straight down the side of my chair. And reach on this side. Good, so I just wanna let my arm slide down, my hand slide down and my, my arm follow it, okay? My shoulder follow my hand as you slide down. Good. Keep going. Reach. Reach. Good. Keep going side to side. Just like you've lost something down your recliner, maybe the remote, maybe something more important. Keep going side to side. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Now I'm going to add on. So uh, maybe I'll turn so you can see my face a little bit here. Then if you need, I'll turn sideways. So on this one here, we're still going to work our sides, our obliques, but we're going to reach down with one hand and reach up with the opposite hand. Okay? So let's start here. Ready? Reach. Flick my fingers. Come back to center. Reach and flick my fingers. Come back to center. Reach, good, good, good. One more each side. Flick my fingers, eyes follow my lead hand. Good, now I'm gonna add on. So I'm gonna tuck my toe back behind me as I reach to the floor and flick my finger open. Let's try the other side. My toe goes back, knee is down. As I reach, uh, my hand to the floor and to the ceiling. Ready, let's try it. 10, go the other side, 9, go the other side, good, get those hands open wide, good, maybe you're not going to touch the floor, maybe you're only going to go part way, that's okay, whatever that works for you, am I going too fast, slow it down, sorry, that was one of my comments last time, slow it down, I'm like, ah, okay, I'm trying, how about 3, other side. How about two? Other side. How about one more? One more each side. One more. And rest right there. Good. Okay. What have I got here? Oh, yeah. Good. Marilyn's liking things. Okay, good. Keep going. Keep going. So one more, and then we're going to get another drink of water, okay? So I want you to, to come a little bit forward in your chair. A little bit forward so that you can lean back. So maybe you can only lean back and come forward. This is an abdominal exercise. So you want to lean back and engage that abdominal to lift you up. Don't use momentum to let you come up, okay? Make all the work come from your belly. So shoulder blades to the back of the chair and forward. Yeah, we're only going to do four of these. Three. Here's two. Good, good. There's one more. Good, good. Okay, now we're going to do a sprinter. So, we're going to bring our knee up and try to reach for our foot and reach for our foot. So, back and reach. 
Back and reach. Back and reach. Back and reach. Good. Keep going. Engage your core. Make your core work, not your quads. Come on, come on. Stay with me. Keep going. How are you doing, Janet? Stay with me. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my. Good job, Gary. Good job. <laughs> Squeezing my shoulder blades. Going up nice and tall. Taking a hold of my wrist and let it drop to one side. Go back. Good. Same side. Over. Slightly back. Good. Try the other side. Hold your wrist. Bring that elbow down and reach. Go back. And elbow. And back. Nice. Okay. Um, let's go down to the floor. What time have we got, friends? 10.38. What? <laughs> what? What are you guys doing? Pulling around? Oh my goodness. 10.38? Are you kidding me? Okay. So time flies see. when you're having fun, Margaret. <laughs> That's true. We're going to go to the floor. And uh, if you need to use your chair, I'll show you how to get down with using your chair here. Uh, if you need a mat, go ahead and get your mat because we're going to go down in prone or face down. Okay? So, uh, oh, sorry, I was going to show you how to use that chair to come down. So, using my chair to come down, hands on my chair, making sure that wrist, elbow, shoulders lined up here so I have a little bit of weight. Try not to push too hard into your chair. Okay, just for balance to help me come down to my knee, come down to my knee, hand, hand, and then back up. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to start all the way down and we're going to work our back. Okay? So all the way down, turning my elbows out to the side. My hands are wide open and my fingers are facing each other. My nose comes down to the mat and when I power up, I turn my elbows under my shoulder and I look up. So my chest comes off of the mat, okay? So this part of my chest is off the mat when you power up. So nose down and power up. We want 10. Shoelaces are down in the back. Ready? Let's go. Here's 10. Here's 9. 8. Here's 7. 6. Power up. Up. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Watch my rest. Make a fist. Put your forehead in and extend one arm forward. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and do it again. Okay, gang. This time, when we work our back, I'm going to have my arms extended straight up to my shoulder with my thumb up. So, we're going to start with just double thumbs up. If you have a hard time lifting your hands off the mat to be able to lift your chest up, just do singles, okay? Just do singles. Here we go. Ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five. Should be feeling this in my core as well as my back. Two, one, rest. Make a fist with the other hand. Put in your forehead. Palm down and just rest. Count it out. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, gang. We're going to practice uh, rolling over or turning, transferring my weight. I'm going to use my toe. Can you see how I uh, flex my big toe in the back here? And I'm going to use my toe to help me and my hand. And I'm going to try to transfer my weight to my side, almost to my back, reach as far as I can, and come back to center. Same side. We're going to try eight times. Are you ready? Let's go. Push off and reach. There's eight. Come back to seven. Push off. Seven. Good. Six. Good. Five. Reach as far as you can. Come on, come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. A little rest right there. Yes, we're going to go to the other side. But 
but not yet. Not yet. Little breath. Good. Hands underneath my shoulders, palms down, push up to my hands and knees. Okay? We're going to go back to our little balance. Remember I promised you cardio and balance? Toe down, heel up. Try to get my wrist, elbow, shoulder lined up here. And my opposite hand is going to reach. So as I reach with this, I want to uh, imagine that something's on my wrist and on my ankle, drawing me apart from each other, okay? And we're going to hold for three. Ready? Hold. Three, two, one, and down. I want you to squeeze your butt as you make that extension. Ready? Here we go. Reach. Three, two, one, and down. Again. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, again. Three, two, one, and rest right there. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. All the way down. Good. So one arm is extended. That's the direction I'm rolling. I want to make sure my hand is out of the way. I don't want to leave my arm here so it gets stuck when I'm rolling. Okay? Get my hand out of the way. Again, I'm going to use that toe. There's my big toe. Going to help me here. Ready? All the way over and reach as far as you can. Reach. Good. And reach for six. And come home. And five. Make it big. Four. Come home. Three. And back. And two. One more, one more. And rest. Oh my. Great job. Are you kidding me, Brandy? We need you down here. She's <laughs> up there, sitting on her chair. Seriously. Good work, everybody. Back to that bird dog. Here we go. This time we're just going to change hands like quicker than before. So last time we did a hold. I'm not going to hold this time. I'm just going to switch, okay? But I'm only going to do four, and then I'm going to take my hand and drive, or sorry, my elbow and drive it to my knee. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? So start with four. Just reaching. Just reaching first. Ready? Four. Reach. Three. Reach. Two. Yeah, yeah. Are you squeezing your butt? Yes, you are. Are you ready? I absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eight this side. Elbow to knee. Balance first. Balance ready. Elbow to knee. We want eight. Extend. Seven. Oh my. Six. Yep. Five. Go, go. Four. Reach. Three. Reach. Two. Reach. One. Oh my, whose idea is that? Hands at the top of the mat. Pushing my hips back to my heel and stretch. Oh, oh yeah? We're going to do it on the other side. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Here we go. Doing it. You guys are doing it. We're doing it. We are. Okay, I just thought I remember which side I did. Okay, so we're going to do four first, okay? Four reaches and then eight. Here we go. Ready? Ah, uh, just a sec. Wrist, elbow, shoulders lined up, yes. Knees underneath my hips, yep. Ready? Let's go. Reach and reach. Here's three. Three. Other side. Two. Woo! Here's one. Yeah, yeah. Get ready. Elbow to knee. Let's do it. Drive it out. Press. Press. Four. Three. Two. Hey, did I say two yet? Did I say two, Janet? One. And done. done. Yikes. Ah. Good work. Good work, everybody. Good. Okay. Uh, so, let's see, what time is it, Brandy? It is 10.47. Oh, so we've got to be done here right away again. So let's just do a little bit more with our arms uh, by doing our tricep push-up. I like this tricep push-up because it reminds me that I can easily get out of bed 
if I'm on one side and I need to get up. So my legs are long or they can be bent, okay? Take my bottom arm, the arm that's on the floor. Take the hand and put it under my armpits. Take that top hand just above my elbow and push up. Good. Push up. Good. Push up. Are you ready? Now we're going to count. Eight. Here's seven. Here's six. Here's five. Keep going. Four. Three. Do as many as you can. Two. One. Oh. Good. Let's try the other side. Triceps. The back part of my arm. Bottom arm is under my armpit. My legs can be long or they can be bent. Hand just above my elbow here. I'm going to push myself up. Ready? Push up. And up. Good. Start counting. Here's eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. And rest. Oh, rest right there. Rolling to my back. Legs are long. Hands, they're a little bit wide. So my feet are almost in line with my hips. Palms are down. And I'm doing steady breathing. In through my nose. And out through my mouth. In through my nose. And out. In. Good. One more. And rest right there. Good. So bending my legs so that my knees are bent. If my feet are flat and my heels are pretty close, like I can probably touch my, my heels with my hand. It's pretty close. Palm is up, and I'm just going to slide my fingertips towards my toes. So, in doing so, I have to slightly lift and slide. I want to try to keep my neck long and not crunch my, uh, not kind of go into a turtle where your shoulders come up. So, remember your shoulders are going to stay down, and you're just going to reach for eight. Ready? Lift up and reach eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest right there. A little rest. Good. Before we go to the other side, we're just going to do some bridges. So pushing through my heels, I want to lift the lower part of my body off the mat and squeeze my glutes as my hips come up, trying to transfer my weight towards my shoulders all the way up and hold, two, and down, two, and lift, two, and down, two, and lift, squeeze at the top, good, here's four, and up, and down, and three, and two, Last one, last one, up and hold right there. Just hold, just hold, just hold, just hold. Now push your knees that way, okay? That way, push them that way and hold. Four, three, two, and lower. Oh, let's switch up to the other side, gang. Switch up to the other side. So, <laughs> palms are up. Remember this one is where I lift, engage my core, and slide my hands or my fingertips towards my, my toes and come down. So lift, slide, and come down. We want eight. Lift, slide, there's eight. Lift, slide, there's seven. Lift, good. What can I make you think about, Randy? Let me see. Can you multiply by three? Oh, jeez. As high as you can go? Go. Three. Six. Six. Nine. Nine. Twelve. Yeah, I guess add by three. Fifteen. Not multiply by three. Eighteen. Good. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-eight. 
24. 24 rest. Starting at 27. Oh my. Oh yeah, starting at 27. Listen to Brandy, she's gonna oh. guide you through. I'm gonna count these. So we're just gonna go down and push my hips up. Remember that we're trying to get our weight right up towards our shoulders and we're pushing through our heels. Okay, gang? Here we go. Ready? Up in the lift. 27. 20, 30. 30. 33. Keep going. 36. Yes. Keep 39. Heading, you guys, add on my threes. 42. Go backwards, go backwards, 45. go backwards. Oh. Uh, 39. 36. Keep going. 33. Good. 30. Good. 27. And hold. Hold as you're counting. Tw backwards. 24. Keep going. Keep going. 21. 18. 15. 12. 9. What? 6. Ah. 3. 0. Try to drive my knee towards my shoulder. Extend the other leg long and hold. Oh, good work today, gang. Good work today. Nice job. Good. Take that knee that's bent and roll to the side until that knee comes to the floor. Head rests down. Bottom arm is extended out from your shoulder, palm up. Opposite hand is going to come and join it. Are you ready? We're just going to open up that arm as wide as it will go. And as if gravity has got a hold of the top part of your hand, it's trying to bring the back of your hand towards the floor and hold. Four. Three. Two. Close it up and do it one more time. Ready? Open and hold. Four. Three. Two. And one, oh my, roll to your back. Oh, roll to your back. Good, good. Extend that leg straight up with your foot flat, and your toe is going to try to flex towards your shin as you hold on to the back of your leg. See this leg is bent? See if you can extend it and hold. Hold. Maybe you can hold on to your big toe and flex it towards your shin. Maybe you can't. That's okay. Wherever that works for you, now point, point, and hold. Woo! Good, good. Take that ankle, going to cross it over the opposite knee, and just rest right there. Taking the same hand as knee that's crossed, I'm going to bring my hand above that joint and help my leg move away from my hip or away from the bun. Not my bun, but my stomach. So it's just going straight. Good. Now if you can, slide your hand towards your shin and see if you can lift your bottom foot off the floor, drawing this leg towards your chest and hold. Maybe you want to sneak your hands through there and hold on. Wherever you want to hold, you want to be able to feel that stretch through your glute and up into your hip. Good. And rest. Let's try the other side. Extend your leg up. Flex your toe towards your shin. Hold on to the back of your leg, maybe the back of your calf in your leg, and flex that toe towards your shin. Good. Good, good, and point your toe up. Point and hold. Five, four, three, two. Take that ankle and cross it over. Same hand as knee that's bent, hold it on. Good. And just add a little bit of resistance to that leg. Not resistance, sorry, just a little bit of help. So you're just helping your leg move a little bit away. Good. Remember stretches, when we do stretches, we don't want to go into a pain zone. We just want it to be able to feel like we're stretching or lengthening some of the muscles that we used. Good. Holding on to my shin and draw my leg towards me. Good. Hold on to that stretch. Keep holding. Keep holding. Three, two, and rest. Good. Okay, gang. Where are we at here? 10.57. Uh oh. All right. Here we go. Everybody up. Ugh. 
Whose idea was that? Who knows? <laughs> Feet are together, legs are nice and long, back is flat. I just want to see if I can let gravity bring my chest down. Gravity, bring my chest forward. Forward. Good, and hold. Good. Three, two, rolling over to hands and knees. Good, good. One knee's gonna bend and stay flat down. The other one is gonna extend along, I'm gonna tuck my toe and see if I can press my heel into the floor. Heel to the floor. Switch up the other side. Good, good. Now last week we didn't even have one little giggle last week. How, last time I was here, was that three weeks ago? <laughs> One day a week just rolls into the other. It does. What? Okay. It's Monday. That's what we know for sure. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So before we leave, you can have a little sit down on the mat and stretch out those, uh, or work, I guess, the knuckle of the big toe, or just sit in your chair, or just sit comfortable. But here's me trying to work the knuckle of my big toe by putting a little bit of resistance on it, a little bit of weight. Okay? So, yes, my big toe does cry when I do this. It does cry. Remember, not into pain, guys. Uh, but the big toe does help us as we're walking, okay? So here we go. Uh, ready? I, okay. Hands are one, just one. Get the other hand into a rock. Put the rock on your palm of your hand, and you say rock, then open your hand, paper, and then scissors, and then snap, and then switch. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch, rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch, rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch, rock, paper, scissors, snap again, rock, paper, scissors, snap, and release those toes, oh my, just going to stretch out those uh, ankles by putting my shoelaces down, so my shoelaces are down this time. A little bit of weight back there. One more time with our rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch. Rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch. Rock, paper, scissors, snap, switch. Rock, paper, scissors. Done! Yes! Thanks for coming out today. Nice to have you. Have an awesome day. See you again.